Well, why don't we go ahead and get started then. Um, first of all, good morning and thank you for taking time out of your morning for this important um, component of the strategic planning process. Um, how many of you are attending for the first time? Any first timers? Okay, two of you. Um, I, I'm going to go through and talk a little bit about where we've been, but where we are now. We do have a, a little bit of an exercise. Um, we have, in essence, an hour and a half, but we probably won't be taking all of that time today. So um, just to kind of give you a frame of, of where we're at in the planning process and where it's going to go forward. Um, I'm going to use some PowerPoint slides to indicate sort of, you know, some terms and definitions, things that you need to understand to, to get where we need to do today. Um, first of all, we are at step three in the planning process. Um, step one had to do with the gap analysis and SWOT C. Step two was strategic issues. Um, what you have before you right now is the result of strategic issues going to what we call strategic directions. Now, I do want to remind you, we are at the strategic level which means that for the most part, we're gonna be looking at strategic directions, goals, and strategies. So what we're gonna to do today is, is, is not so much about the vision level plans or department level plans, or you know, do I move my two people to a different office? We're thinking much more broadly at the institution, at the college itself, and we need to keep that in mind. Um, so I think the other thing that's important to understand is that we're going into, in essence, goal setting or goal formulation. So when we talk about goals, we're in essence, it's a specific target reached. It's in essence a, um, an achievement that's reached or completed. So sometimes there's confusion around that, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But then the word strategic direction is a little bit more broad. Um, what you see over here on the wall is in essence, and what you see in your handout are those what we call strategic directions. So, but I want to talk just a little bit more broadly about that because um, here we are, and uh, we're in essence on step three this time. Um, step four, we'll be talking about um, strategic goals and key strategies, performance indicators. We'll start the basis of that today with goal framework. And then we'll be working with the Strategic Planning Committee, the Faculty Advisory Committee, and the Senior Leadership Team to kind of finalize that first set of draft goals. So again, strategies, which is a key part of this, is that plan of action to accomplish that specific goal. We'll show you what this looks like in just a minute. And then, so you can also see that's a plan for achieving something or reaching a goal with skills such as making plans. Um, now, what does this look like? And, you know, I've had a lot of comments that says, well, you know, in the end, once this is all finished, what can we expect out of a strategic plan for CCRI? So this happens to be one that was created a few years back for Mass Bay Community College. Um, it's about 10 miles north of Boston. They basically have several, they're a multi-campus institution, very similar to you, um, serving the needs of both urban and suburban uh, out, outside of Boston. And you can see, when you start to look at this, the very top um, of the chart, you'll see what we call the strategic directions, focus student success, expanded partnerships, collaboration to college community, and then improved systems. Now, underneath each of those, and that's called a strategic direction, underneath each of those is called the strategic goal. And you can see that it's a much more broader statement, but it's a much more comprehensive statement, and that's where we're gonna start today. And then underneath that, you see key strategies. Those key strategies, in essence, are how are we going to accomplish this strategic goal? And then finally, at the end, once those key strategies are set, the next thing is to look at, well, what are those strategic outcomes? Now they're called success indicators or key performance indicators. But how do we know if we're achieving those strategies or accomplishing those strategies? So that's, in essence, how we're going to start to put this together. Um, Dave had a good analogy. It's really like an hourglass where we started out very broad. We're gonna to start to get very narrow and start to think through now that we have these statements. We're gonna to start to really start to focus in on what those goals are and those key strategies moving forward. So by the way, this happens to be a fairly common 
strategic planning um, framework plan now for community college. If you go out to a lot of community college websites, you'll see the same type of terminology, strategic directions, goals, strategies, and outcomes. Um, there's probably a dozen or more firm plans that we have created over the years that use this very similar process and it seems to be very effective. So again, understanding where we're at and understanding what's the difference between strategy and then goals. Um, so strategy itself is just an, an exercise in problem solving. And really, that problem solving takes a lot of different people with a lot of different expertise. It takes people in instruction, it takes people in student services, it takes people in uh, Dave's area in terms of administration, finance. Uh, and all of this comes together with that expertise to create those strategies. Now goals support the strategies, but they do not solve problems. They measure progress. So keep that in mind as we start our exercise today that um, we're not in essence crafting strategy. We're in essence starting to develop a goal framework. The actual strategy piece will be how to tackle those particular goals as we move forward. So the first thing I want you to do is in front of you, um, we gave you a strategic directions, issues and directions handout. Now, the last time we were on campus, we had an exercise related to what we called strategic issues. And you can see here that um, that exercise was um, based on 152 total written responses, which are in front of you today. Now, those 152 written responses were developed through 56 participants at the open forums last time. We had three of them, just like we are now, or four of them. Um, and then 30 individuals completed the online component of the same exercise but completed it online. So what you're looking at in front of you is both the online and our work from last time in terms of the open forum. So now one of the things that we just talked about was there's in essence at the heading of each one it says strategic direction and just want to be clear on what that is. And basically, if we define that, it's a key statement that propels an institution towards its intended goal. So that statement is fairly broad, um, like the first one, enhancing student success and completion. Um, that is a very broad statement. A lot of things, as you can see, fit in that particular area. But the question becomes, well, now we have to start to narrow it down and start to shape a goal around that. So, these are, in essence, the strategic directions. After we did our work, myself and uh, Marty Mahler, who's part of the planning process, who's been with me along the way, um, put these into initial categories. Those categories went to the strategic planning committee that Dave basically oversees, Dave Patton, and uh, they spent some time last Friday um, reviewing these, validating them, um, making sure that they were reflective of, again, the, the culture of the institution and really were, were in line with, with what they were hearing. Um, so these, in essence, are the, what we call the strategic directions for CCRI that have been approved by the Strategic Planning Committee or validated by the Strategic Planning Committee. So you can see that um, there's six bullets looking at, first of all, enhancing student success and completion. Um, the second one is, you know, expanding partnerships, and programs, degrees, and certificates. The third looks at ensuring financial strength and robust systems. And those robust systems could be financial systems, they could be um, physical systems, they could be processes, um, and then they also could be technology systems as well. The third or fourth is improving college uh, image and perceptions, and then the last two have to do with um, organizational effectiveness, and then staff development and advancement opportunities. So those, in essence, are now moving forward as we start to move down to create the, in essence, goal statements around those. So I just want you to take a few minutes to review that handout. Um, we're not going to spend any measurable length of time on this, but um, take, take a, a few minutes and read some of the strategic issues familiarize yourself with the strategic directions. And um, I guess the question is, you know, how well do you feel that they represent the, the overall um, 
needs of CCRI? And uh, do you feel that those strategic directions um, are going to move you forward as we, as we uh, begin to start the goal setting piece of the strategic planning process? So I'm just going to give you a few minutes to look at those. And if you have any comments, we appreciate uh, sharing those with the rest of us. Frank, I don't know if you may be jumping the gun a little bit uh -huh. here, but can I ask you a question sure. in front of the group here? Yeah. Um, so in the next step, mm -hmm. as they're thinking about mm -hmm. these and kind of mm -hmm. crafting uh, strategic goals in their mind, sure. I have an example here um, mm -hmm. under ensuring financial strength and robust mm -hmm. systems. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I wanted to put under that is use Argos to automatic, which is a, a mm -hmm. financial reporting yep. tool, use Argos to automatically push financial reports to managers. Mm -hmm. Is that at the right level of the input mm -hmm. that we want to collect today Absolutely. from folks? Mm -hmm. Or is that too specific? So no, that certainly could be one of them. Yes. Trying mm -hmm. to go from mm -hmm. ensuring financial strength and robust systems, mm -hmm. so one level of detail yep. deeper would be mm -hmm. pushing financial reports. Mm -hmm. If Robin heads a division, yep. once a month she should get in her email a report mm -hmm. that says her financial mm -hmm. budget to actual. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. so I think you're right on track, Dave. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. That certainly um, works. I, I have a, a meeting with Megan shortly, so okay. I'm going to just put okay. a few things up. If Absolutely. you want to use them as examples, okay. feel free. Okay. Anyone have any comments with regards to the strategic issues? I know it's a lot of reading. It's seven pages of reading. The reading's a little bit small and tight, but um, yes, Dave. Did these six overall boil out of these 152, uh, well, however many yes, there are. Yes, there's 152. These, right. These, is this what, these produce these common headaches? Is that it, it, correct it goes, or no? It goes all the way back to March with right. what we call the SWOT-C analysis. Now, at the end of each section, you'll see on your sheets, it says um, SWOT-C, and themes, you'll see right. a lot of themes. Right. So. The first thing we did was a SWOT analysis, mm -hmm. and those themes were, in essence, used to create strategic issues. Strategic issues were used to create, in essence, the strategic direction. So yes, everything to date has, has moved forward and, and come out of the very first time we met as a group. Got it. And so, so what, what you're seeing here, in essence, is about two months' worth of work on the college's side, um, and it's been building along the way. So, now I should also say that this was, in essence, came from the bottom up. This was not something that the leadership team or anyone else created. This was done at the open forums. This was done online, and everything was the. This is a bottom up process for the most part. So we have to keep that in mind. I'm that. Edited. Uh, unedited. Okay, you edited. No, unedited. Unedited. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So unedited. Like, yes. Raw data. That you yes. See. Anything mm -hmm. people submitted either online or. Yes. Person. Right, so it's because there's like repetitive mm -hmm. statements that clearly can come grouped together, so that all yep. makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this is, this is all verbatim, so it's not, um, it hasn't been edited as Dave said in any way. To the exercise compared mm -hmm. to the amount mm -hmm. of employees that we have in the yes. population, mm -hmm. um, what, what's the issue? There, there mm -hmm. obviously is a lack of interest in, mm -hmm. in uh, determining the strategic direction. So mm -hmm. um, have, in your experience, is this mm -hmm. something that you've seen a lot or have you seen? How does CCRI compare to other institutions as far as mm -hmm. participation in the community? Yeah, well, that's a good question, Robin. And um, I think there's a trend in, in strategic planning where it starts out with a very large pool and it starts to get smaller each time. Um, I think what also is lending to this obviously is it's the end of the semester, it's the, um, you know, th there's classes in session and um, maybe the, the, the dates weren't ideal for what we were trying to do. Um, we, we didn't get started as you know until mid to late March and so our goal, and this is again because of where we're at, um, is to establish goals before faculty are off contract for the summer. So, and that's, as you know, just a couple weeks away. So um, I think over the summer, there'll be a chance to reflect on that, 
Now, what's been decided is to begin this process again in the fall. And, um, and the work that we're doing here, I think, will set the framework. And that's why we're going to call it the goal framework. But then once the fall comes, I think the goal is to re-engage and then readdress some of this and then move forward. So, um, but it's, it's not atypical. Um, some institutions are better than others. Um, at a lot of institutions we work with, you have a strategic planning committee and the only people we work with are the 10 or 12 people on the strategic planning committee. And, um, and they're, they're, they're not broad based. So I think it just depends on the institution and of how they want to do that. So ahead and, and move forward and uh, you'll get to use this information as, as part of our next exercise here. But before I do, any, any comments other than Robin's about what you're reading? Um, the work to date. Well, it's very clear that a lot of things show up in, in mm -hmm. multiple uh, they do. directions. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's also very clear that there are some very Angry heavy, yes. heavy mm -hmm. issues that mm -hmm. are brought up here. Yes. That mm -hmm. It's going to be difficult to address in just a single strategic plan. Mm -hmm. um, maybe part of the strategy in the strategic plan has to be specifically how do you address these more yes. heavier issues mm -hmm. over time. Yes. And I think if you, you know, if you even start to look at what, what Dave doing on organizational effectiveness, build a task force to look at uh, engagement and um, uh, you know, f uh, what, what are effective cultures. You know, other institutions once they develop that goal, we'll create a subcommittee, so to speak, or a task force to address that. And then, again, take this and get broader participation in, in allowing that to, you know, what does that look like moving right. forward? Absolutely. And, and, and I think, you know, it was the decision here to let you see sort of that dirty laundry and the verbatim responses. Now, at some institutions, that's not permitted. Um, here, it was said, we want to put everything out in front so people really understand and know the issues. And that's what you're getting. You're getting some of that hostility, some of the angerness, some of the um, you know, things that are bubbling up that have probably been here for quite a while. And those have to be addressed. And you have to know that those exist. You have to know that those are out there. And you have to, in essence, have a final, you know, have a strategy to deal with those once the plan starts to move forward. Absolutely. That's a good comment. So let's, let's, let's take a look at this. Um, we're going to start what we call a goal framework exercise. And um, we're, we're, it, it's goal framework because, like I said, um, we knew that this was a difficult time of year. We knew that we weren't going to have 100, we weren't going to fill this auditorium with people eager to do strategic planning on the last day of class. <laughs> um, so the framework, in essence, is that. So when we talk about framework, um, it's a simple way to break down ideas or statements um, and to develop meaningful goals. Um, here's an example over on the right-hand side of a goal. And this comes from um, Laramie County Community College in Wyoming, which we worked with um, last year. And you can see their goal was over the next three years, we will increase the number of students earning high-value credentials by 24%, redesigning our courses for 21st century learners, creating new programs that help drive the economic and social futures of our state. Um, now that's the goal that was created, very similar from a strategic direction, very similar to you have in terms of expanding partnerships, programs, certificates, and degrees. Um, now what you'll see in that goal is that the red words, high value credentials, redesigning courses, 21st century learners, creating new programs, Almost all of that language you have in front of you in that document in those strategic issues. Now, I will tell you, because I've been doing this for 26 years, a lot of goal formulation um, isn't necessarily those key words. It's wordsmithing. 80% um, of the goal is refining the language and um, sort of crafting that perfect statement. And that's where all the, a lot of the tension focuses. Today, what we really want to do is focus on more of those red words. What are those key words that are needed to create that goal? Because that's what's important collectively um, is, is those key words, not so much the, the you know, sort of those colorful words that are in between them, 
but you know, what are those statements that have to be in that particular goal? Um, so when we do this, we have, in essence, um, a different couple categories. Thank you very much. We have people, we have facilities and infrastructure, systems and services and funding. So if you look in the science of goals from the business perspective, um, most goals um, or statements fall into these particular four categories. And uh, so when you create a goal, it's usually about people, facilities, systems, or funding policies. So let's give you an example of that. Um, here is a goal to increase overall fall to fall retention by 60% by 2018. This is actually a goal by a community college. Um, they were in, their fall to fall retention was currently in the 40s. They wanted to bump it up 20%. Now this goal was a couple of years ago, and this was a, a three, four year goal. Um, but you can see the strategies here um, in terms of you know, what's a system, what is a funding, what deals with people and services. So if you look at the very first one, eliminate late registration, implement mandatory late start sessions, that involves systems and policies that are needed to do that. When we talk about, um, you know, let's take bullet number three, create faculty work group focused on increasing engagement with students through the creation of active learning spaces. That's people, that's for systems, and that's facilities. It takes all three of those. So, so from that perspective, you can see that um, most goals and most strategies um, are focused on a, a couple key areas. So what we'd like you to do is, um, I've got a handout, and we'd like you to, in essence, um, use the documentation. Um, I'm gonna give you some sticky notes with some Sharpie markers, and we'd like you to go through and, um, first of all, review those strategic directions. Um, I'll give you, a, in essence, a handout here. You can hand these out. One to each person. Yeah, we can do one to each person now. So the, the handout that you have has a lot of key words that are eventually going to make it into a goal. And you probably, as you started to read through those, your mind has already started to think, hmm, this is how we're going to create these goals and, or strategies. So now I'm also going to pass out to you um, some sticky notes. And those sticky notes are, are again, by color here. And we want you to, in essence, look at keywords, or in this case, um, they could be statements or uh, action words that are going to go into, in essence, developing of, a, of the CCRI goals. Now, collectively, this information will also be combined with the next open forum and then the two tomorrow, plus we usually get almost as much information online as we do during the open forums.